Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to go through a simple vision rag experimentation with Cole Poly and QN 2.5 VL model. Most of the time, you know, you have these questions that how we can, you know, discover information or ask information or extract information from images or media files, right? We have been, you know, uh, using documents to kind of retrieve information and build rag on top of it, but how we can build vision rag, right? That's the question. So that's a very good framework, and this is going to be completely open source. We're not using any closed source stack. So we're going to use Colpally, which is a basically a document retrieval framework okay, that combines with open source vision language models like QN 2.5 VL or any other models, right, to kind of uh, build a vision rag capability. So let's do that, right? Now, if you look at here on my screen, I'm on their GitHub repository. It's called Colpally, efficient document retrieval with vision language model. Right, so you can go through it, and they have support of these model. You can see the models and find out everything over here. And I'm also going to use Unsloth for this uh, tutorial, so uh, because because Unsloth helps on compute limited devices. So that's the agenda of this video. So if you look at here, you know uh, I am using Google Colab. I'm I'm using L4 GPU. You know you need some sort of GPUs to run this tutorial if you want to build a vision rack uh, kind of a if you're doing vision rack project, you need to have a GPU. Now I'm using Unsloth. Unsloth is uh, one of my favorite, uh, I'll not say invention. Uh, it, it's an innovation in my views. One of the most innovative thing that has happened in last five years is Unsloth. Because Unsloth has empowered people like us because we are GPU poor, uh, you know, to uh, run these kind of capabilities, right? On single GPU or on a very li compute limited devices. So all credits to Unsloth for this. Now I'm using QN 2.5 VL by Unsloth. You can see it's on their Hugging Face repository. 7B model, the instruction tune model. I have load in 4-bit. You can make it true also, you know, if you want to load in 4-bit. And you can either, either do true or Unsloth, you know, for uh, longer context. So I'm just using gradient checkpointing Unsloth over here. And you can see the model has been download, uh, basically has been downloaded, you know, for the weights, uh, SEPT and source. And then I also have made this model ready for inference. So you can find out the entire pipeline over here, right? And of course, this notebook will be available. And then we are using BiLD, which is very important. So let me just show you here. If you go to BiLD GitHub, right? It says uh, it's for it says use late interaction multimodal models such as Colpally in just a few lines of course. So basically, it empowers you know to use Colpally and those models, the multimodal models, you know, in few lines of code. So basically a high level abstraction, you know, of such code. So we don't have to write a lot of code, right? So that's what it is. Now you can go to BiLD and read about it. Okay, now. So let me come back. And you can see we are, we are, we need popular utils because we're gonna use images, right? So popular utils are required, right? Uh, you know, it depends uh, what kind of operating system you are using. Popular utils is a bit difficult to install on Windows and Mac or Windows machine. It's easier to uh, work on Unix and Linux distros. Uh, and of course, I'm gonna use, sometimes I have seen with this problem, I'm gonna show you in a bit. Now you can see I'm using RAG multimodal model uh, from BiLD. And you can see we are using v VDOR, call QN2 V1, okay, this particular model. Now, if you come here, you can find out more details about it, how to install it and all the supported thingy. You can see uh, how can how you can create an index and so on and so forth. So you can go through their documentation and GitHub repository to understand better. Now, I'm gonna also, okay, this is, gonna, this is going to take a bit of time. Okay, we're gonna wait for it, but uh, I think that should be fine. That should be, done yeah now this is fine some utilities library and i'm using some uh images from substack cdn you can see it's tesla netflix nike google and of course uh once we uh go to the image folder we can see it of course it's going to create an image and it's downloads the image you can see it has downloaded the image right? and now we're going to create and this is a moment where sometimes it breaks the runtime I have seen the collab. You can see it says your session restarted after a crash. It has happened with me. I'm going to take a pause. I wanted to show you this because it has it has always happened with me. Okay, so I'm going to take a pause here and come back after this uh, indexing step. Okay. All right, as you guys can see, now the indexing has been created. I have always noticed it when I run it for the first time with Colpally and Byerly. It always uh, asks me to restart. Maybe because we have to we have have to restart the 
uh, server because of of course the runtime because of by early installation it might need to restart so please keep that in mind if you're using google collab now you can see indexing file uh, added page one of document zero to index document one to index blah 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 and our uh, that has been created okay so let's get created over here you know in, in attention and you can find out your embeddings and collections and everything over here now we have a search function so i'm just gonna of course this converts the bytes io the bytes to the images using pillow library or pil library we are using text streamer from transformers so i'm just gonna go next and we have a simple prompt template here you know so i'm just good we are using apply chat template uh, from the tokenizer and i'm just gonna go next here and right, you can see we are taking this nike image so if i just uh, open this image over here right let's say open this nike image right you can find out uh it has a fy25 q3 income statement that's what we are looking at here i'm asking a net profit probably in this question what is the net profit for nike it's gonna re respond something let's see if it responds correctly now perfectly fine it's 0 0.8 billion dollar you can see it over here on the right hand side where my cursor is right now this is really interesting because and this is completely open source you're not using any closed source models and if you are building a multi-modal rag or a vision rag where you have to you have these kind of images what you can also do guys right you can pass pdf also extract all the images and save that in a folder create the index using this particular method and then of course use that through rag right so i think that should be that should be very interesting as well you know in my views because you don't you are not using any open ai apis like models that supports uh, let's say uh, images like we have models like gpt4 o or uh, even cloud 3.7 sonnet supports or gemini 2. Point, you know that supports so you can you can use that uh, model if you if you want to if you are okay to use it but for some of the highly sensitive data you might not want to use closed source model you might want to use open source models so in that scenario you have to use this particular architecture you know to go ahead with now if you look at here on my screen also right now i have opened uh gradio application i have built simple gradio right over here that that shows you that what kind of capabilities capabilities it has so let me just probably download this i don't know if i can download it okay or if i already have it okay see yeah that's fine nike uh, we have this nike over here let's just upload and let me ask the question so you can see we, we ask about net profit right uh what kind of questions we can ask here what was the go gross what was the gross profit you know let's ask this question here right now if i ask it you can see this is a gradual application right it says of course we we didn't use the chat template over here but that is fine you can see it says the gross profit for nike in q3 fy25 was 4.7 billion you can see it over here right 4.7 billion dollar uh, with a margin of 41 percent fantastic i liked it so this kind of thing we can build and you can build a lot of things not only this right we can build you know stuff like in in uh education sector as well where we, where we want to create uh questions answers looking at some kind of images i want to explain some image or advertisement and whatnot right we can create this particular architecture over here that where you can upload an image and ask the question so you can combine colpally and byerly uh, with any vision model you want right you have a lot of open source vision models as well nowadays that supports uh, uh these frameworks so i'll give this code have a look try it out and let me know how are you uh, what are you building you know basically with this architecture what kind of use cases you are solving with a uh, vision rag right uh, and this is one of the most prominent use cases i see where you have a lot of images within pdf as well let's say if you have scanned documents these are nothing but images so how you can use open source tech you know to discover information or extract information so that's what i want to do in this video guys i'll give this notebook have a look try it out let me know if you have any questions thoughts or feedbacks in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels. Find those information on channel banner and channel about us. If you like this video, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.